Alright guys, we just recently configured our target and focus frames, so let's go ahead and get to something more fun. Let's go ahead and try the arena frames. So I'm going to click enabled units, I'm going to disable focus and target, and I'm going to enable arena, arena target, and arena pet. Now I want to unlock the frames, and here we go. These are our arena frames here, and we've got the arena pet, arena target, and by default they're a little bit wacky but we can go ahead and change that so what we want to do is we want to go to unit configuration and we want to click arena now these settings look pretty good but you know we want to adjust how the uh, the actual frame is growing so if you prefer to keep it as gladius style you can leave it to grow down but I want to put them at the top of uh, my World of Warcraft UI so I'm going to make them grow right. I'm going to make the row offset 5 pixels. And let's go ahead and for now disable the pet and the target. Okay. And for now also let's go ahead and uh, disable the range indicator because it makes it look a little bit too faded out. So here we go. Here are my arena frames. Now I want them to be a little bit taller than 25 pixels, so let's go ahead and make it 55, let's make it 45 pixels tall, and that looks pretty good. Okay, now I really don't care about the power bar that much, it's taking a little bit too much space. So how would we change that? We'll go to widget size, we're going to go to power bar, and for height we're going to change it from 1 to let's say 0.4. And it'll basically adjust what percentage of each uh, uh, of the total height is being taken. And I actually do care a lot about the cast bar, so let's go ahead and make the cast bar take a little bit more of the uh, frame height. And let's go ahead and make the whole frame actually a little bit taller, though, to make it 50 pixels tall. Okay, now let's go ahead and enable the arena target. And let's change the settings for both of these. So we want them to be both uh, 160 pixels wide. Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, let's make our arena target. We want to set the anchor for it. So the way we do it is we go to frame and we go to anchor to another frame. And we change this right top to, I believe it's top right. Here we go. And that will make it appear on top of the arena frame. Now we want to turn off the power bar for the arena target. And we want to turn off the cast bar. That looks good. And let's go ahead and turn off all the text as well. So the, what we're going to see is we're going to see just the class color for what our arena enemies are targeting. And that's, I think that's very useful. Let's go ahead and configure the uh, Let's go ahead and also turn off the debuffs for these, or buffs and debuffs, so there we go. Basically we got rid of everything but the health bar and the class color. Let's configure our arena pets, let's turn these on, and let's make them, let's see, half the size frame width. Let's make it 70 pixels. Let's go ahead and turn off the buffs. Let's turn off all the text here. Power bar, right. Let's turn off the power bar and the cast bar. And let's move them to bottom left, right here. And let's set the Y offset to be, let's say, 40, negative 40 pixels. Here we go. And these are going to be our, let's try negative 50 pixels. These are going to be our arena enemy pets. And let's change the uh, debuffs to be a little bit smaller, let's say 14 pixels wide. And that looks about good. Okay, so these are going to be our arena targets, just arena 1, 2, 3, 4. The arena players targets right here and their pets. Now as you can see here we're seeing something pretty awesome. We're seeing buffs and debuffs on the arena frame. 
and this is very very important and let's go ahead and get rid of one more one more piece of actually let's leave the the mana bars because for example when we zone in we'll be really quickly able to see if we're playing against a red paladin or a enhancement pal a shaman <laughs> or elemental because we'll be able to take a look at their mana bar so what i want to do is i want to configure the buffs and debuffs here now the way they are set up right now is actually pretty good but let's go ahead and uh, for example let's make a couple more of those appear at once so we're gonna click arena and we're gonna click ores and let's make the max rows three for both of these here we go and what we want to do is we want to move the arena pet frame a little bit lower let's try, let's, let's try for 55 pixels lower so what we now can see is on our arena frames, right? On our arena frames, we'll be able to see the buffs and the debuffs without actually having to target people. So th this is, again, this is really beautiful because when we're playing, we can just take a look at, for example, arena frame 3, and we can see that they've got absolutely no hots, and we can make a good target switch onto it, or we can keep track of our crack controls by just looking at the debuffs. All right, so it looks like we've got the uh, arena frame set up. Let's go ahead and uh, save a profile here. So let's make a new profile. Let's save PvP. Let's go ahead and save the profile here. And uh, let's put PvP and copy from default, and that'll make the PvP for profile right here. 